Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to Inspirate Korea in the Tele 320 Neo. In the Cold and Dark State, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up or well, start up this beautiful aircraft um, probably within 10 minutes or so. Now, this is of course simulator purposes only and all of that. This is not for real life flying, and uh, some of these things are kind of summarized. I normally go through a checklist, but this is kind of what I've uh, taken from checklists to use as sort of flows um, to get the aircraft started up however this will get your aircraft going and in a pretty good airworthy state so external power on of course um, the external power should be connected if you select the cold and dark state batteries one and two i always turn on the fuel pumps now but you can turn them on just before start up now i'm just going to go up cruise supply on ground control on you go over ADRS, nav, nav, nav. This always takes the longest time. So if you want to get in the air, make sure you get these to nav as soon as possible. It's about, I think, nine minutes it takes to start up. Here we want our nav lights on, going up, uh, packs normal. We can get our APU on. I'm going to put my APU bleed on uh, now as well. Disconnect the ground power as soon as the APU is on. Going through. Um, then we're going to do emergency exit lights to arm, seatbelts, sorry, no smoking lights to auto. You can also turn them to on, but uh, there was an issue where it just kept like dinging if it was in the on position. But they appear to have fixed it, so that's really good. Right, so heading down, I'm not going to touch the EFB. Um, I'm going to go up, cockpit doors locked, really predictive off. Uh, if you want to some, of course, hit frequency. In the MCDU, in it request, uh, watch my other video how to save time. Basically, just link your sim brief account. File a flight plan onto the A320 Neo aircraft. Press init request, and this is going to populate your flight plan. Everything except the performance and the um, SID and star. And it should, yeah, there we go. The fuel set. Okay, so. Departure routine today, we just cross reference uh, sim brief, so whatever the departure is. We have the Adil to Juliet departure. Right one to Gatwick is the temperature goal for the ILS 08. Right. And of course, they are abbreviated from the last letter, so temp to golf. After this flight plan, Brad Nav, I'm going to leave progress, we don't need to touch that. Uh, performance. It's pretty, I mean, it's really easy. Just go take off data request. Then over to receive take off data. You can see what's an earth. Um, okay, the food is definitely getting delivered. Right, um, because we're in Innsbruck, I'm going to click this button to get max takeoff. But of course, normally you can do a flex takeoff and set your flex to temp. But if you're doing a toga departure, then you don't. I don't believe you need to set flex to temp, but I could be wrong. Now, after this, I just kind of go along with this hat um, movement, I guess. We're going to go MCDU, ATSU, AOC. Um, if you're on VATSIM and you have an air traffic controller, then request your departure, ATIS. For me, I don't. So we're going to go weather. Um, I want all of these through. I'm not going to touch the airport airspace. But of course you can add additional uh, weather if you'd like. Receive messages. Um, I just want the departure for now. I know the weather in Gatwick is um, reasonable. So we press print and we scroll over. And there you go. We have our little receipt slip thingy. Our meet our slip. And we can see here Agar's Lowy. Uh, this was taken 10 minutes ago. This is in Zulu time. Auto variable 2 knots, 9999, nine, 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 more than 10, few 800, correction 8000, scatter 9000, temperature, of course the main thing we need is QNH 1017, so we're going to go here, and I believe you can get the meter and the TAF without being on that sim, and now of course, um, if we go along here, we're going to set up autopilot, I would suggest uh, putting in your initial SID altitude, but today, uh, there's no set altitude, it's just our cruising because Innsbruck just wants you out as soon as possible, pretty much. And we won't be flying with that sim, so 38,000. We will come back to this later because it will change when the ADRS is aligned. I'm going to turn on my constraints as well. Uh, arc 20 miles or 10 miles. For Innsbruck, 10 miles is good. This will basically zoom in your display, as you can see. 
we have the intervals from 5 and 7.5 if we go to 360. 160, 240. So after this the aircraft is pretty much ready to go, of course we have to wait um, for our nav, so we've got 6 minutes to go, you can quickly align this, go to this, um, and just click ADIRU, ADIRU, quick align, gosh I can't speak today, uh, yeah, um, so now what I'm going to do is check that the AP is running, uh, also, when you turn it on, wait till the flap says open and then press start. I'm just being lazy, which is not good. We can see our AP we've got in um, voltage from it, and we should click external power to remove it, and the workload should increase. There you go. So now I'm going to get the aircraft in a state where it's disconnected from the ground. Close the doors first, and then remove the stairs. Then I'm just going to close everything else. External power, we've disconnected chocks. We can see parking brake is in the on position, so chocks we're going to release or oh, remove. And now we're pretty much ready to go. And all I've got to do now is wait for the ADIRS to align. Okay, so that was a little bit painful, but we've now aligned the ADIRS. And our QNH, we can also set in the standby indicator. So now we are ready for engine starts. This is the time where you would um, call your tug over, but I'm in Innsbruck and they just want a 180 degree turn. Um, although it's looking a little bit tight with these. Oh, here we go. <laughs> What's he doing? Right. Oh my lord. Realistic, he said. Okay. So now. See the signs are going to come on, beacon lights are going to come on, we've got AP bleed on. Go over the overhead panel, I don't see any white lights, generator fault, that's just because the engine's not on. Uh, APU, I'm happy. Um, our engines will show up here, but it's probably a good idea to get the entire picture. And now we can start our engines, so, engine mode selector, if you have the TCA thrust master, I would... Um, Turn it to the right, so we're going to go ignition starts, I'm going to start engine 2 first and then engine 1. Actually no, I'm going to start engine 1 first and then engine 2, because that's what I hear airlines are doing more and more of. So, engine 1 on. We come up here, we can see our N2 instantly rising, the smaller blade. Um, we're kind of expecting N2, EGT, then the N1 to rise. Okay, so, M1 is starting to rise indeed. So, in the A320 Neo, you can start both engines at once. Um, so, I can start engine 2 now. And we're just rising the engine 2, starter 2, on. As you can hear, that beautiful CFM leap, yeah, CFM leap engines, starting up. So we're going to wait for engine 1 to stay available, then we're going to go through our after start flows. Now I'd recommend, if you have the TCA Thrustmaster, you'll have two buttons either side. I'd recommend assigning this one to the chrono starts, and then the one on the left hand side to spoilers arms. Um, however, that's just how I do it. So we've got available now, we're going to start the chrono, chrono timer. I just time for two minutes before I start moving the aircraft. Then we're going to go to spoilers arms, and you see they pulled out, auto brakes set maximum. So now we've gone along kind of the bottom flow on the TCA, we're going to go to flight controls. And I'm aware some airlines do this during taxi, but this is uh, what works for me. And then rudders, all the way right, rudders, rudder, all the way left. Pitch trim is calculated, we can check in our takeoff performance up 0.4 and flaps can set 3 for departure. 
you know you're an inspirit when you've got a flat 3 departure. And after engine 2 is available, we can turn off our APU. So, available, engine mode selector, normal, APU bleed off, APU off, and for taxi, taxi lights on, strobe lights on. If necessary at night time, runway turn off lights are on. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you start up the Tolis A320neo. Now, I will leave a checklist below, JD's checklist, which I use for pretty much everything. It works an absolute treat, and I do like the layout. Um, so if you do want to use the checklist instead of use this video, then please do feel free. But apart from that, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.